All right, it's going to be a real short video today. I uh, have cleared off my sculpting stand. And uh, because I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do next. I might be making two more horses for the uh, uh, horse piece that I'm working on. But uh, right now, I just recently received a couple of things that I think would be interesting for you to see. Time to play with some clay. This is just an ink roller that I purchased off of Amazon. Uh, they come in different widths. I got this one. And uh, the nice thing about it is it's uh, some kind of, I don't know what it's made of. It's some kind of rubber or whatever. But clay doesn't stick to it. And I get a pasta machine for rolling out clay. But sometimes I want it a little thicker than uh, normal. And I'll just give you a little demonstration here. The clay is cold, so it's going to take a couple seconds here to get it to, to work out. Say you want it to be uh, thicker, and you don't want to run it through the pasta machine because it runs it too thin. You can just use this roller to uh, flatten out your, your clay. And uh, it does a beautiful job of making it a very uniform... Uh, flat area I used to use this years ago and I lost my old one and I just recently thought about maybe I ought to buy another one and so I did a little search on Amazon they have a whole selection of them now say I want to get to a thick a certain thickness and I want to keep uh, it even I can put like say a couple of fondue sticks and then just roll down to the top of the uh, fondue stick and it gives me an even thickness all the way across. So it, it's 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 like using a pasta machine, just not having to go to the expense of a pasta machine. I got this uh, 3D printing pen. I've seen these used on uh, YouTube, <coughs> and I thought I might be able to apply this to some of my sculpting. And so I'm going to be making probably a video, if this works out, uh, of how I'm going to use this in making armatures. Now, I don't usually do box opening videos, but I'm going to go ahead and do that with this. Uh, after you cut the tape here in the front, you can open up the box. It comes with a couple of samples of uh, whatever this stuff is that you use to print with. It comes with instructions. And uh, returning advice. And then in the box itself, you got a plug that you can plug into a uh, outlet and a cord to plug in your pen. I'm not sure what these are. I think these probably clean the uh, point of the pen and then it comes with a pen. Let me put this aside. I'll take the pen out. Now this was a more expensive one they had and it's got a display that uh, gives you the temp temperature of the uh, pen because the this material here that you put through the pen has to be a particular temperature uh, to uh, come out uh, easily. And uh, I'm gonna be interested to see how hard this gets and what I can use it for. But I've got some ideas of what I might use it for, and I'm not sure if it's going to work yet or not. So I'm going to read the, the instructions, and uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to bring my thing up here. You can see the temperature is rising to 210. That's the. Uh, it's nice to have this display to tell you what your temperature is. 
And I'm trying to figure out how to feed this. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. I don't know what that is, a ship. Well, I'm trying to figure out how to get this going. I've got the uh, ABS plastic going in the back. And I gotta just figure if I'm doing it right or not. This is, I labeled all these things. This is feed is forward. Oh, wait a minute, there we go. I think I got it. Oh, let me see. Trying to get it to go in. There's going to be a learning curve on this. Okay, there we go. Now it's starting to come out. That's interesting. Yeah, it's at 210. Now, if I need to increase the temperature or decrease it, I can press the negative or the plus button here on the uh, thing. And it gives me the display showing me what the target temperature is right now and uh, what the temperature is. So there's different temperatures according to this. Uh, ABS, which I'm using, is at 210 and PLA is at 175. So I'm, I don't want to touch that tip because it says it's supposed to be really hot. Okay. So, and I'm going to feed, let's see. Oh, this is a speed. See, I, I wrote speed on there so I would know. Okay, now I'm going to put it in the middle. And I'm going to hit the... Oh, this is fun. All right, I'm going to attempt to make it a little slower in speed coming out. I'm going to set this down. It cools pretty quick. And it's pretty it's pretty stiff. I mean, it's it's pliable. But it's a lot stiffer than I thought it was going to be. I just wanted to show you this uh, little thing here. And I think I'm going to try some experimenting with it over the next couple of days. And see if I can do something that I'm thinking about doing. But you can't touch that area here. That is really hot. Like 210 degrees hot. All right. That's going to be it for today. And uh, just wanted to show you this. And uh, we'll take a look in the future. I might uh, do a special video on using this for uh, armatures. But I'll wait and see what I can do with it first. Before I go committing myself with that stuff. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.